Hi Scorpio, welcome to your additional bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and their true intentions for you. I'm going to start by looking at the love oracle messages and the situation between the two of you. Then I'm jump into the tarot section of your reading to see their true intentions for you. And I'm going to close your reading off with the hidden truth oracle deck by pulling some messages from this person of what they're holding back from telling you. So this is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button if you have haven't already subscribed to my channels it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads and please remember time is fluid so this could be something that happened in your past currently in your present or coming up in your future however the focus is going to be for the person currently on your mind and their true intentions for you so with that being said let's go ahead and jump in Scorpio so show me the situation between Scorpio and the person on their mind please All right. Oh, okay. <clears throat> wow. So this was just supposed to be very casual between the two of you, but it's 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 changing. We have hookup, reconciliation and date. Yes. This was supposed to be something like a casual relationship or fling. We just hook up every now and then, but now wanting a second chance because you miss each other and that reconciliation card of reunion, second chance back together. I miss you. And then courting, dating, anniversary and meetup. Bottom of the deck is spiritual awakening, enlightenment, epiphany, life lessons, rebirth. So this is a rebirth of the situation because it went beyond like, oh, I can't just hook up with you anymore. I want something much more here. So yep 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 that's how it started but now it's changing here and there are feelings involved and you miss each other and yeah so you want to know this person's true intentions do they want to just hook up are they wanting to just come back around because they you know want to keep having this casual relationship of like we're just hooking up whenever or do they want something more because you want to date i'm seeing that you want this courting you want to like go on a date you want to be taken out you don't want to just i get that you were only going to each other's places and it's like it was strictly just hooking up straight into the bedroom or wherever but it was never out and on a date it was never like let's go out and be seen in public and and you know have a good time so that's where Things felt like, you know what, I'm going to take a step back because I'm not sure that I want this anymore because I want something more. So, you know, th it's given this person time to think about how much they miss you as well. Um, if you're missing them, I get that they're missing you. But let's see. We have to see what they're missing about you. Is it that they're falling in love or what are their intentions for you? All right. So show me this person's true intentions for Scorpio. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Emperor here. This person's given things a lot of thought. And so they've been waiting patiently and looking at the situation. And they're in this, like, shock situation, this eye-opening situation that they really have feelings for you. But they also are trying not to cross boundaries because you two were just hooking up. They don't want to get too involved here. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, Tower, and the Emperor, and then the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They're now realizing that, you know, I really want more with Scorpio than just what we were doing, all right? I want more than just a casual relationship here, but that Emperor is also about somebody who um, is, is trying to keep the structure between nope we we have boundaries we said we're not going to cross those boundaries here so it's like they're waiting for you to say something to them that you want something more 
with them as well. All right, so I do have um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I also have Aries energy that comes out twice here. Let's go ahead and clarify that Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, the, you know, the more that they've evaluated the situation between the tour, two of you, the more that they've realized they are really happy with you and that they want more growth. Um, the sun is a definite yes card. So if you have a question of if they want something more here, that answer is yes. The wheel of fortune is at the bottom of the deck. So I have Leo and Sagittarius energy here, but they feel that you are exactly what they needed and that this is destined and like you are their destiny, you two are meant to be together, you make them really happy, and why would I wanna give up Scorpio whenever everything feels so good? Like I feel, I feel like I can be myself. I feel like everything is working out the way that it's supposed to, so I really don't wanna lose them. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the tower. We have the Magician, and then we have the Queen of Wands. Whoa, okay, so they did not realize at first how much they would miss you. It has been such a huge shock to them with how much they miss you, wanna get back together, or like have something more because they feel this very powerful connection here. They keep having this shakeup of you need to initiate this, you need to take a step forward. You know, the queen of wands is not someone who is going to chase and they realize that, you know, all these people flock around you or people admire you, stare at you. You really light up a room when you are in it. Um, it does, you could be male or female, doesn't matter what your gender is, but they are realizing that if they don't take that initiation, somebody else will because you are not going to chase. And that's where it's shaking things up because they're like, do I say something to Scorpio? Because I really am into them. And they find you to be someone who's very powerful. You stand on your own and everything that you have around you is growing in a very positive way. Um, and that you don't have to chase things, things show up for you. And if someone wants to be in your energy or be around you, then they know um, that they're gonna have a good time and they also realize that you know, you're know you going to entertain the idea of someone showing up with a very positive demeanor of like, hey, how's it going, Scorpio? Um, you know, cause you're always fun. This is how they see it. Like you're fun and people like you and I don't want to lose you. Um, so I have Gemini and I also have, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Let's clarify that emperor. Three of pentacles. Okay. And yeah, they really want to take a mature approach to this. Um, they're going to bring up Okay, so they're thinking of how do I do this without crossing certain boundaries? And so they're gonna take a mature approach to this and they know that they have to initiate the conversation, but they recognize you, they see you, they wanna take you out, they really wanna, they wanna date you, they wanna see if you want the same thing. So they're going to ask you with this page of pentacles, they come in with a very positive message of, you know, I've been giving it some thought and I really like you and I know that we have certain boundaries that you didn't wanna cross but I'd like to go out with you. Like I'd like to date you and just you and see you know, where this goes because I like how things have felt with us just having this casual situationship hooking up. And so I do see people smiling. I see people you know, being missed here as like, I'm so glad we're back together or you know, being without you has made them really feel like, oh my gosh, my world is turned upside down. What do I do? Um, cause that powerful connection between the two of you is so good and they're manifesting a relationship with you and, um, you seeing them for their worth and vice versa, them seeing you for your worth. Now I do have Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo energy that came out. Let's go ahead and get some messages. What's this person holding back from telling Scorpio here? Really curious. What are they holding back from telling Scorpio, the person on Scorpio's mind? Hmm. 
All right, so they are the type of person that tries to come off as like unfazed. I'm becoming a better person. So because of you, Scorpio, they feel that they're becoming a better person. They're discovering more about themselves. They're, there's this rebirth, right? Of like, I, you know, because it's a spiritual awakening, um, meeting you, having you in their life. They're becoming a better person because of you. And it's like really throwing them off because they're like, I thought life couldn't get better. I thought I knew everything about what I wanted, who I am. But you are making them a better person in a lot of ways that feels very magical. Um, so we will be together again. This is not over between the two of you. This is not just casual between the two of you anymore because this person really wants, you know, the excitement to stay that you have been giving them the happiness that they feel. Your energy is really pulling them towards I want you and I to be an item and I don't want anybody else. So I don't react when people mention you and that's where this person has this very strong demeanor of they're a private person. They don't like people to know their business and they don't talk about like, oh yeah, Scorpio and I've been hooking up. So when people mention you like, what's going on with you and Scorpio? They're like, nothing. You know, or it's none of your business um, because they're very mature in that way. Like it's between you and I, Scorpio. And when you're ready, we will say we're dating, we're together, whatever. They don't want anything premature. They want to make sure you're both on the same page with that. So I remember every detail of that day, which is telling me that the last time you were together, it's like everything was so good and it felt right. And um, they were really happy and it made them feel like, you know, they can't live without you. I know it's crazy. Um, but we do feel that way when we're in love, when we're falling in love with somebody, even if we are like, nope, we have certain boundaries and we said where this is how it's going to be. When you really start to like someone and it becomes a very powerful connection, you remember the details of, of the last time you were together and how you missed that person and how great it was or whatever. So I want you, I only want you. And so, you know, this person is really, really about you. And I like that. Um, even though it was a casual hookup they miss you and it's really shaking things up for them because they're like i can't stop thinking about you and i wake up thinking about you i go to sleep thinking about you i try to work and i'm thinking about you what the heck and they just can't stop but they also don't share your business with other people they're not that type of person so that's good um but this is what i have for you scorpio if it resonates with your situation go ahead and hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye